So, we have a recall that I was talking about. Yeah. And now he just wants to sit all the time. Buddy, come. Good boy. So there was initial tug. Once he turned, there was no more me pulling. You know, the, the leash was free. There was no tension whatsoever. Buddy, come. Good boy. Hey, girl. So if I see him looking away, I'm going to use that that moment for recall because mm -hmm. I know he's not paying attention to me, and I want to get his attention. And that's one of the ones that you would want to get his attention. You know, if he was running after a squirrel or something. allow that for now but as soon as I got a pretty good you know reliable down I would make sure that he wasn't being paid until he stayed there for at least you know one or two seconds Good stuff in that one. Hey, buddy. There were treats mixed in. I think there's no more. Buddy. I might have some. Hey, do you have cats? No, this house is condemned, I think. <laughs> I'm just basically buddy. using an empty lot. Yeah, that would be that would be something I would have to work on because once he goes down, he's got a tendency to, to spring Spartan back right, up. Yeah, I know. So once I got a reliable down, then I would be doing what's called um, avoidance conditioning. So once he was on the ground, buddy, and I, I don't want to do anything that's going to stress him too much, but we'll see what it looks like. Buddy, sit. Nope. Nope. I hope that was caught. So all I did was, you know, just a finger, nope, nope, and that was enough. Buddy. Nope, I have more. Buddy, sit. guy may have gotten to his attention span. <laughs> He's they, that's, out. <laughs> the amount of food that gets stuck in his lips is unbelievable. I didn't feed him. I still have it. Sit. Good. I want to get him to understand he's got to stay there a little bit. Nope. A little bit longer before he gets it down. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. Hey, good boy. <coughs> hey, good. Sit. Good boy. Nope.
everyone, once they understand that they can start being fed by doing basic obedience, you, you have them, you got, you got them licked. Good boy. So again, if he was hungry, if his food was in my pocket, and he understands that's the only way to get it, mm -hmm. he's going to be, hey, can we do obedience? <laughs> Good boy, very good. That one I didn't wait for the delay because I, I didn't position myself to put him down. He went down he on his down. own. Good boy. So I paid him for that effort. Good boy. Good boy. And the more you do it, the more he's going to understand, hey, he just wants me to lay down. And he'll start doing it just like he's <laughs> sitting all the time now. Now when I do these exercises, should they be on a... On a leash or always, always just you so always they just so he understands correct. the control of correcting him and the feeling um, of. I I was for now just always use a leash. Yeah. Um, yeah. If if at any time he wants to start jumping, you want the leash on to correct him. Um, you don't if if he's not going crazy. You don't have to have the leash on for sits and downs, but you know definitely, you know this. I'd be watching this, you know, all the time. Just having him follow you, letting him know that if he gets to the end of the leash, he's going to be correcting himself because he wasn't paying attention. So I don't want to correct him. I want him to know he he can stop any correction by staying next to. Keeps giving me a look like, what are you doing to me today? No, I have to. He's looking me right in the eye, and I'm looking, and I'm I'm rewarding him when he does that. Hey, and that's that's how I know that I can do this because I know I have his attention. have any more in there I don't think it's all dog food I think the good stuff is gone the good stuff is gone oh. one last one okay I kind of figured this was now Let's see if you can, ah, three left. Did I wait too long to have you try it? Hey, buddy. Sit. Yeah. So that's, that's like, um, that pressure I was telling you about before, I used just that to get him to go down. So again, I want him to learn, turn that pressure off by going towards, you know, going to where it's pulling to relieve. Buddy, go. See? Go. Down. Nope. Nope. Don't want that. Down. Good boy. Very good. Nope. What kind of treats were those? Uh, I, I, I recommend not using treats, but going, going with dog just, food. Is the Rachel Ray good dog food too? Or? Haven't used it. I'm, I'm sure I haven't heard anything bad about it. Yeah, neither. Are. I just heard stay away from kibbles and eims and pedigree and stuff like that. And yeah, I mean treats. I have I have treats for one when I'm training training some, a new behavior with a dog, or if I'm going out in high value just. No distraction. If I want the dog to look up with me the whole time I'm walking down Main Street, you know, I might be using something other than dog food uh, in the beginning. But I, it's it's usually dog food. You know, they they, they get used to working for the meal. Mm -hmm. Buddy, come, come, Good boy.
It's probably too cold for him. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of times, you know, and I'll, I'll, I'll tell people, sometimes a lot of dogs just need to hear the word no in a way that makes sense. It's you know, not being mean to them. It's just when, you, when they're doing something wrong, you got to say knock it off. Um, you know, we don't know. There's a lot of dogs in the, in the pounds now that they're nippy and families get rid of them just because of that. Yeah. They try all, all of Sure positive tricks in the book, you know, feeding them treats and everything. But when it all comes down to it, if you don't say no to the dog, what are you gonna do? So again, instead of just putting a leash on a dog and just walking, let him do what he put the leash on the dog and show him what or make him do what you want to do. It doesn't have to be a walk, just we call it pattern work. You know, in a driveway, in a parking lot. Just like.